क्वेश्चन नंबर 111 मैच द कॉलम्स एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इन द कॉलम ए एक्सटिंक्ट स्पीशीज आर गिवन एंड इन द कॉलम बी देयर नेटिव एरियाज आर गिवन सो सी हियर डोडो इज नेटिव टू मॉरिशस सो ए मैचेस विद सेकंड सो ऑप्शन नंबर 2 एंड 4 आर रूल्ड आउट नाउ क्वागा क्वागा is native to africa so b matches with third here you can see option number 1 is also ruled out now now thylacine it's a dog it's a marsupial and thylacine it matches with australia so c matches with fourth and d matches with first that is russia steelers sea cow is native to russia so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 112 which of the following is not an example of exotic species exotic species are those species which are not native to the country they are introduced from somewhere else so these are exotic species now Parthenium for India, it's an exotic species. Water hyacinth for India, again exotic species. Nil perch for Lake Victoria of East Africa, it is exotic species. Chichlid fish for Lake Victoria of East Africa, it is a native to that lake. It is not the exotic. Exotic is the nil perch. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and thirteen. Choose the odd one regarding the characteristics of species which are more susceptible to extinction. How an organism or any species can become more susceptible to extinction when it has large body size? Definitely. When it has small population size, of course. If there is small population size, it can be more susceptible to extinction. High reproductive rate. no if any species has high reproductive rate the chances of being extinct are lesser fixed habitat and migratory route of course so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 114 how many of the following is our in situ conservation strategies see hot spots it is in situ wildlife safari parks X C two botanical gardens X C two. There may be a confusion between wildlife sanctuaries and the wildlife safari parks. Wildlife sanctuaries are in situ conservation strategies, whereas wildlife safari parks are X C two conservation strategies. National parks in C two, sacred lakes in C two. Biosphere reserves again in C two conservation strategies. So how many of them are in C two? Four. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and fifteen. Which are not the narrow utilitarian benefits of biodiversity conservation? Broad utility of biodiversity is pollination. It is broad utility. oxygen broad utility aesthetic pleasure broad utility of biodiversity conservation food drugs firewood they are narrow uses of biodiversity conservation so which are food drugs and the fire wood so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question mm-hmm. 